Hi there, um, my name is Mark Bradshaw. I've done about five books with Blurb now, and I've just received over 20 in the post. And I thought I'd let people know who may be thinking of uh, doing their own book and what Blurb was like. I've done five, five different books. This was one, which was Small Landscape. I've not actually got the inside, but this is the, um, <clears throat> the dust cover one. But to do 30, 40 of these is quite expensive. So I've plumped um, this time for a small book. Okay, this is the smallest one they do. It's 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters. And this one's got, this is a test book that I made. It's got a soft cover. Soft cover and thin paper. Thin paper's still really nice, but it's not as good as the upgraded ones. So that book cost me 20 pounds, okay? As opposed to this, which cost me 30, this is the finished item, which if you look at the difference, that's thin paper, 176 pages, and that is the upgraded paper. Um, just one up. The difference in price between that and that is £5. And the difference between the cover, which is, this is a soft cover, and the hard cover, which is this, is another £5. So the difference between that and that is £10. That's got the hard cover and the better paper. And it's kind of worth it. So there's the cover. It's thick and meaty. Okay. And that's the book. Now, if we take page 70, Right. <clears throat> I think it prints really, really well on the computer. That's the print. So it's pretty, it's virtually exactly, but it is, it's exactly like my, my Apple. It's just absolutely perfect. So you don't have to mess around making things brighter or lighter. I've done on this book four bleeds. A lot of full bleeds so that the picture goes right to the very top in a lot of cases. This is 176 um, pages and a little index in the back. But the paper is much more substantial than the, um, than the thin stuff. But it's a really good product. It came to me um, well packaged. Absolutely no damage to any of the books. Um, I've got a slight problem with one, one of the books, but customer service has been great and they're offering me another book um, free of charge. Uh, one mistake I've made here is I, um, I wanted to include this person there and I felt it important to get the ear in and as a result I was a bit naughty and so I'm left with that white line which I... I thought I might get. So if you stick to the, and you can see that here. So I did that on purpose. I knew it wasn't go to, wouldn't go to the end, and it's my own fault. But I wanted to catch that person's ear in there. So if you just pulled that to the edge, then I wouldn't have had that white line there. And other than that, it's absolutely perfect. I think it's a fabulous product and the software is really really easy as well to just drag and drop pictures in. Um, I think they're great blurb. Um, that book to me is £30. That's with the 40% off. You wouldn't buy it, you wouldn't pay it if it was didn't have the 40% off. So the 40% off deals come every so often but you can get 40% if you order over 20 So that book's, that book's cost me £30 and I think that's really good value. And I've got no complaints. It's exactly, absolutely exactly as I've saved it on the computer. So any spelling mistakes, any faults, probably down to you. So that's uh, a little overview of the difference between um, hardback, small, small book, hardback, better paper, hardback, thinnest paper you can get, softback, thin paper. There you go. 
So if you're going to use Blurb, I just hope that helps. Bye now.